so I, I hope it sounds better to me. It's, it's got to sound better to me, so uh, we'll figure that out. I'll figure that out. Right, we ended last time fighting the pirates. So now it's on to the blue yonder. All right, so we found the wandering Who's this? This guy's flying around. This is just a regular old black pirate. Everybody's gonna miss. Yep. These guys suck at running. Move. You know, I did, I just did two pyries. This is probably gonna be overkill. Uh, yep, that's overkill, all right. Vice, finish it. Thank you. The poor Fina doesn't waste her magic. We did it. So yeah, just a regular, uh, black pirate ship nothing to see here oh so I don't equip the magic cannon it's just there Okay. Oh my god! They're not even gonna survive around. Oh, maybe they will survive.
Oh, there it goes. I'm really glad I don't have to buy ammo. Alright, so was there any other... Is there no... I guess not. I do remember one of them being... Aha! Long ago, a young black pirate searched the desert for the isle that sprouts treasure, or spouts treasure. After a long trek, he was shocked to find that it produced only sand, he realized that the desert was a true treasure, and spent the rest of his years in Nasser. And we get a random encounter. purple yeah we're just learning purple and green right now I'll fix that next encounter real quick we'll go back to blue rogue uh, space quote unquote What's going on, bro? That was easy. Oh, I have ten of those. Never mind. Let me through. That's Valoa. We don't need to go that way. Bit of a break from the internet space a little while now. Well, that's good these day and age um very very important to do that i hope that you are uh in a better place because of it and it's good to see you get to overkill this this poor Tina's gotta just nuke him we did it. 
I'm happy to hear that. Well, I'm happy you're, you're moving over it. Being in a gray space mentally is, is always rough. Um, Am I going in circles? I'm going in circles. I need to go west. That usually is, yes. Welcome back. Uh, I hope hope days are brighter in the future for you. Pied, why'd you come back here? I want to stop at the end. Like I said, it's good to see you. I mean, I've seen you you slightly active on socials. You'll you'll like a post I make every now and again, and I appreciate that. Um, but to get fully back in the swing of things, uh, if that's what you're ready to do, then cheers, brother. Go for it. I had something else I wanted to joke about today or talk about. Oh, the end of Think I'm Red. And like I said, cheers, brother. Welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, I don't know who was paying attention to D23 this past weekend, the big investor thing for, uh, for Disney. Um, but it was really interesting or some parts were really really interesting uh one is they created a kind of disney hall of fame they they made a section called disney legends um uh and with they inducted some folks into one was Harrison Ford, the other was actually Frank Oz, which I found really funny considering most of the interviews I have seen uh, featuring Frank Oz. Um, what did he say? Uh, every, every interview off and on uh, since Disney bought um, the Henson Company. Frank hasn't had a lot good to say about it. Uh, he has even come out to say stuff like he thinks the deal killed is what was the uh, the final nail to is what killed Jim essentially. Um, so I found it interesting. Not only did they induct him into this legends, but that he, he accepted. He showed up. Is this our doctor? Yes. He didn't say the N word. Hi.
but CGI Stitch looks better than I thought he would. Um. Sure sounded like it. Also, um, I thought I, I feel that flamingo. We did get interesting announcements like, uh, things I wasn't expecting, such as Incredibles 3. Um, We're getting Incredibles 3. There was something else on there that I was like, did we really need a sequel of that? But that was the one that stuck out to me. Why a third one though, right? That, that was my thing. I was like, did we? The only way I could think that the only thing I could think a third Incredibles is going to be is the kids grown up Toy Story 5 that was the other one I, I thought we uh, I thought we said everything we need to say after Toy Story 3 but apparently not um But Incredibles 3, the only way I see that really, uh... Working is if you focus more on the kids. Um... The Snow White one I was like, eh. Knew it was coming, but eh. I may be a little lost. Hold on. Frozen 3 is very unnecessary. Again, a lot of these movies they announced, I felt like we, we said what we needed to say, the last one we had. Um, but what do I know? Someone apparently had the idea and pitched it, and somebody liked it, so we'll find out. That was easy. We did get a first look at the Fantastic Four suits, uh, which are an interesting choice, uh, but you were never going to make anything the Fantastic Four have ever worn look decent. Uh, true, but sometimes those turn out to be really good. Actually, like it's a difference from like when I was younger, 
uh, and they did sequels to like Aladdin and Little Mermaid and stuff like that. But at least the Pixar sequels, aside from Cars 2, are mostly decent movies. I said as decent as they could look, Valentine. It looks like a mix of, of two of their older suits put together. Um, and we only saw uh, Johnny. Um, but I'm going to assume they're not going to do the bib boo, uh, the number four boob window for Sue, so we'll be all right. Um... This is not my beautiful house. The trailers and quite literally everyone who is who has reviewed that movie um, have been wrecking it. My Voloi, God dang it. Southeast. I see him, I'm out of here. <laughs> You're not wrong, Flamingo, but apparently, uh, Randy, the, the, head guy is taking it very personal. Apparently he was real proud of it. That's, that's, you know. Yeah, they were. Uh, it's just really weird for like, one of the creators of Borderlands to be like, yeah, no, this was good, this was really good. And get mad at everyone review bombing. South Ocean considered one of the most difficult places to sail through. Strong crossroad versus the west, nobody has to go through it. 
we have Belize's engine now. It's not like we don't have a chance of making it through. Knowledge this place is limited. You're on your own, boy. Gotta be easy journey. Prepare yourselves for the worst, kids. Should have double pirated. Got complacent. Huh. This guy. Save Sky. Sky's already at the end of Endwalker. Man, that's serious playing. I assume then, if you've made it through Rumbleborn, I assume you're an, at least enjoying the game then, Sky. Most people don't make it through a Rumbleborn who don't enjoy the game. That's always a good thing. We we accept geeking out here. Why'd you go running? Fire 
big old goose egg. Counter. I remember something be on one of these islands. that guy Oh, she can mute them. That's interesting. Granted, killing them is another good way to mute them. Shiza. Well, if Vice can one shot him. Alright, Phoenix should be next, or. Y'all quit hitting her. Leave her alone. Interesting, she has less magic attack than uh, Ica right now. She's only a level behind. How is that diclimactic? Oh, 
a whole round of attacking this and missing coming in and coming wait maybe not I do. Trust me, uh, I work with a bunch of normal people. And they all look at me like I have three heads when I talk about the things that I enjoy. Because I don't, I enjoy things a little bit differently than folks generally do. Uh, um, as as Kamarok was once an island in the South Ocean. Thousands of years ago, the winds ripped the island apart, slowly eroded it down over the years. Then it said today, perhaps someday Kamarok will no longer exist. Um, yeah, they constantly look at me like I have three heads. Hey, I'll ignore. All right, we're running out of magic, so we need to find port. How is Elignor today? Hey, Propoke. Don't bonk me. We switched to the green moon. That can't stop yawning. I'm so sorry, folks. <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore you. No, I was not around uh, when you texted me. And then I forgot because I'm a bad friend that you texted me. I saw that. Proud of you. Uh, no, uh, I am not afraid of your rando seed. I am afraid of Archipelago and its, uh, its silliness. rock a natural rock formation sculpted constant wind currents the south ocean many a sailor story tell of a giant bird flying south are being attacked by a monstrous beak these are likely based on sightings of this rock oh we've got we got foliage
Fat lot of good that did. Wow. Over there. I love that I put that counter arm it on Vice and he ha can't hit the broadside of a barn. That was a bit overkill. Good job, Captain. Move. Give me strength. How was your Monday, Proke? Oh, geez. I'm sorry, bud. Hey, look, there's the leaves blowing in the wind. Which means we're close to land. I only made it across the South Ocean. Most people on this world don't even know that this continent exists across the South Ocean. The discovery of this lush, rich continent with a long history has demonstrated the possibility that even more unknown, undiscovered lands may await. Sure, the leaves came from Mixataka. Out of the light of the green moon, ever since ancient times, the lands of Ixataka are covered in lush forests. Life-giving green moon has blessed the lands with fertility. Wow. Blessed lands, huh? That's true. I'm sure there are all kinds of delicious things to eat there. I can see it now. Piles and piles of fruits and vegetables. All different shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. But there are just as many carnivorous monsters roping about around the woods, too. Preying upon unsuspecting fools who sit there stuffing their faces with fruit. Hey, you don't have to crush my hopes like that. <laughs> if Aika was hungry enough, she'd probably eat the monsters, too. Hey. Boys, look what you did. Now you got Fina doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean any harm. Get to your post. Get ready to drop anchor. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. As soon as we see Ixitaka, we'll look for a spot to land. There 
found it. Garpa fruits. Vine plant that hangs from the bottom of the continent. The stem contains powerful enough hallucinogen. Uh, Kate's a powerful hallucinogen. It has come used for medicinal religious purposes throughout the ages. Also commonly used in local delicacies. Get high or get full. I know those things are hard to hit, but it's still annoying. <laughs> I uh I got all of his stuff that he has he has for sale. That's great. Gordo the round. Cannons used on Amarta ships when they Phoenix Ataka. Uh slightly outdated but powerful. A five inch cannon. Tatary cannon from Lil Jack, more powerful than three inch cannon. Shock torpedo. Equipable Little Jack after launch, it charges its uh, target from above. Friend figure, bore up kit, floor heater. Do I really need any of this? I mean, I guess the shock torpedo. Is better than the light torpedo. Oh, City made my footage. Oh, I remember my old strategy. for the Isataka Pal and a guy named Domingo. attack yeah 
Yeah, call your friend. Don Quixote do Flamingo. So you're all cut up in the manga, right? Flamango. So, I don't know where the manga is right now. Is it past Egghead Island? Or are they still doing Egghead things uh, in the manga? If you can handle those, uh, find the, um, find the 1985 Mango IPA and thank me later. So we're not fully at Elbath yet in the manga. That's good to know. Also means we've got a lot left in the anime of Egghead. Which is good. You're allergic to mangoes? Kyle, no! Uh, well, that's not good. Then, uh, ignore, ignore previous ad statement. A golden statue stands quietly as if pointing something out. It's thought to have been placed here to protect the sacred land. Male statue are found in temples with other buildings, while female statues are found near holy lakes and trees. Let's see here. Imperial IPA, uh, any of the Juice Force products? Um, I don't know if. Um, small machine with giant golden wings is recently discovered near ancient city. Perhaps the people of the ancient world wish to be able to fly like birds. The fish created this flying machine so they could join them in flight. Um, 
Fred tried to make it one like yeah, it's it's my favorite. Uh, they also have the atomic pumpkin out now, which I'm drinking currently. Uh, and I absolutely love it. Um Uh, what else? Any of the any of the forces, so Juice Force, Tropic Force, um, all of those are very, very good. other good things in the product line uh, oh that was rude what are recommendations uh, ads interrupted hold on the forces so tropic force juice force there's another force out there i'm not thinking of right now um those are all very very good uh the atomic pumpkin which is their seasonal pumpkin beer it is very good but i'm biased as fuck um it's got a little bit of got a little bit of spice in it this is very, very good. That's what I'm drinking right now. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of the line. You do like pumpkin products? I highly recommend Atomic Pumpkin then. Um, very, very good. should be out in stores now and if not in your area then very very soon It's very rare for me to like other than say like Folgers um, but if I'm desperate I'll I'll have some Folgers um, but like I do a lot of Pete's uh, Captain Dickinson's blend specifically uh, usually um, dark roasts but have also been leaning towards medium roasts these days um I mean, it is, it is, Folgers is what it is, right? Like, not the greatest coffee in the world. It's there. It's serviceable at a pinch. You know, like Duncan. Yeah. 
Yeah, Fulgers is just straight. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Fulgers is is definitely a thing. Lots of it, uh, very very acidic. Also, uh, anything that I can find at Costco is really really good. Um, I like good Sumatran. to drink it black. I can't put crap in it. It is very hard to get find good decaf. They uh, supported Kyle Rittenhouse, so no. The answer is no to that. I used to be a big powder cream guy. I I loved powder cream for a while, but that was when I was younger. Um, the coffee I want to try that I haven't had the bravery for is Death Wish. I've heard that's some high test stuff. And I don't know if I want the jitters like that. The other thing that turns me off about Death Wish a little bit is, in fact, their price. They are pricey for a pound of coffee. has a high tolerance for caffeine hurt. There we are. Sounds like me, um, well, Mango, there's a, um, it's, 
it's no secret I work at cigars, and I smoke a lot of cigars. And I mean a lot of cigars. Way more cigars than I probably should. Um... And usually... Dirt, also known as Earth Tones, Earthy Notes, is a selling of a cigar. Uh, there is one cigar I had recently that I would call the epitome of wood, wood notes. Uh, it literally felt like I was smoking a fucking twig. Uh, and I've never smoked that cigar since, but I probably should go back and try it again. Uh, just to see if my first instincts were correct. It's time for misogyny. Not in this stream. Do you have a drink with your cigars? At work, coffee or water. Um, but I like to specially pair some cigars with uh, like scotch and bourbon. Uh, a bunch of people wear masks and they have spears too. Are you Queta? Huh? The girl, the white clothes, is she Queta? What? Are they talking about me? We're blue robes. We came from across the South Ocean. You are not Queta. You are the same as the other men from the East. It's best if you leave soon. What did I say? What do they mean Quaita and who are the men from the East? I have no idea. I don't know what they're talking about. We should meet with the leader of the village. He might be able to explain what's going on here. Also, the trip across South Ocean has depleted our fuel supply. We need to stock up on moonstones if we ever want to leave this place. I went to a tea house with Palomai once. Uh, tried some Russian citrus tea at school and rather enjoyed it. So I saw they offered Russian tea. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know what that is because Renan just loves the shit out of it. Pure liquid smoke in a cup. Uh, quite to the people of the East, we uh, once confused. Uh, we confused the two no more. Uh, we have some pipe tobaccos that are like that. Just very, very, uh, Yeah.
people really like that smoky taste. Um, I don't mind it, of course, when I smoke, but to drink it? Mm. Bless you. That was a snake. Knees for my sister in law. Can I just jump off of this? This is true. The only proper response to someone coming into your house that's not anyone you know. You're the ones that these two people have been talking about. If you're from the east, your people bring disaster. Leave this village immediately. Wait a minute, why does everyone keep talking about these men from the east and Quaita stuff? I don't even know what a Quaita is. Quaita is our god. Generations ago, when the giant came to destroy us, Quaita appeared and saved our village. Ancient prophecies say that Quaita messengers will come from the east and save us. Our land is ever in danger. I understand. Since we came from the east, that's why everyone thinks Quaita sent us. But if Quaita's messengers are supposed to save you, why'd you say the people from the east being disaster? Even now, the men from the east are destroying our land. They claim they come from a place called Valua. Valua? They're here too? We've been told this, Aika. When the people from Valua came, everyone thought that Quaita sent them. Even the king came to greet them. The people from Valua said they wanted moonstones. We took them to our sacred mountain where they keep glow rocks. But the Valuans came to steal their moonstones. Then the people from Valua attacked us with fire-breathing iron ships. They took control of the sacred mountain. Everyone, even the king fought, but many were killed and the forest was burned. Survivors were taken as slaves. It's terrible. They're using your people to gather moonstones so they can make weapons. But that's why everyone is so against the men from the east. Please, you need to trust us. We are different from the Valowans, the men from the east. We fight against Valowa so they can't hurt people. And that's why we come all this way. We need a precious stone called a moon crystal. Hmm. Can't expect them to trust us. You're wasting your time, boy. Please. I'm telling the truth. Please. If you fly north of this village, see a small hut in the middle of the forest. That is where our king is hiding. Kings of our land have always passed down a sacred green stone from generation to generation. It may be the stone you seek. Your eyes, they are pure. Believe that you are here to help us. Please, save our people. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you. You will not I will not betray you. Let's go. We got a village to save. Hmm. Can I use your services now?
correct. Oh, also, Kyle, the other hard charge tees are very good. Uh, I think my least favorite is the half and half. But the peach, the um, lemonade, the, yeah. The peach, the lemon, and the... People in most RPG games are weird that you can just enter their house and are like, oh yeah. Where the hell is it? Tika Tika. Someone's decided that we're cool enough. Othello Silvermoon. Hello, Othello. How are we this evening? Welcome on in Raiders. I'm the Visual Pine. If you don't know who I am, I'm a variety streamer. I play a lot of Final Fantasy, RPGs, and Monster Hunter. Uh, and some indie Metrovanias along the way. Um, you could say I'm a full on variety streamer. Uh, but I've been a little more focused recently, and it's been really, really good. And uh, welcome on in. Uh, we're also chill and laid back here. So if you got to go do all your post stream stuff and get foods and bathrooms and things like that, go. You're, please do so. We'll be here when you get back. And uh, Mew Mew, good to see you with them. How was your stream? Um, I actually don't know if any of my... Think of me mods. Mods are asleep. some debba de how was the debba de uh first to see coming my eyes are sharp with the birds proud of my eyes uh shall i show you have him show me had a hacker well that's fun listen this pronunciation is a is a time-honored pine tradition around here So was it a, a hacker killer or a hacker survivor? I assume killer, because that would make more sense. Hacker killer, yeah. 
would make more sense. Have a good lurk. Appreciate the rate. Thank you so very much. Easy come, easy go, this money. Did I accidentally buy four of that? I think I accidentally bought four of that. Stocked up and ready to go. Save a Rooney. saw this uh, pole from across the way and needed to climb it and decided to spin while we do it. Uh, so thoughts on the schedule this week? Um, definitely we're going to be playing this for a couple days. Um, then, uh, ProPoke and I will get together and, and try to, f uh, see what I did wrong with the randomizer and fix that. And then that'll probably be, uh, Friday's thing. Um, Thursday might either be, um, Uh, Monster Hunter or um, maybe something else. 
Yeah. That's pretty much going to be it for this, uh, this week. And I'm hoping to wrap this up, um, oh no! I'll go get it. One of the worst moon fish. Oh. I think I need to do something like this more often in the rotation of games. You know, a good old fashioned classic RPG. Um, I realized in the seven years I've been streaming, I've never played Earthbound for this community, um, which is a damn shame. That's as bad as the realization like a year or two ago where I never had played my favorite RPG of all time, which is Chrono Trigger. We have fixed that. Um, since then and that's why it's one of the randomizers um so like need to play Earthbound at some point. I need to get through Final Fantasy 13 and 15 at some point. Um, probably should check out the seven or 16 DLC at some point. Uh, what else? And we gotta start getting ready for Wilds, which is probably gonna be in the next couple months uh, after the turn of the year. Fourteen does, in fact, like to hurt you. You know what's really funny about that list you shared, Flamango? They left out a very important game. Um, and I, I had to remind myself of it. Um, it is a Final Fantasy game.
uh, Final Fantasy Explorers is is a legit game that uh, is basically Final Fantasy Monster Hunter. And it's actually really good. Aiming across the South Ocean? That's impressive. My name's Hans. It's good to meet you. We're blue rugs of the command of Captain Sentine. Uh, we had crash landed here after a hurricane knocked us off course. Sentai. He's a blue rug that takes in orphans and trains them. I also heard that he's a brilliant engineer. Yeah, he was. I mean, it is. Valo has kidnapped him or forcing him to build weapons for them. We're staying here and working on the ship until he returns. Oh, I hope he returns soon. Hey, Hans. So I wonder if you could help out some fellow blue rogues. We burned all our fuel crossing the South Ocean. You think you can spare a few moonstones? Of course, we got plenty to spare. Here, take these. Thanks, we owe you one. Really helped us out a lot. No, it's it's Monster Hunter. So it's it's action based. You you go out on missions, but you're hunting Final Fantasy monsters. Like, it's actually really, really good, and I need to replay it. And you've got the different job sets, but like, yeah, they're all different. It's it's actually kind of fun. You hunt the problems. It was before 14. It's for the DS. Uh, or 3DS, one of the two. Uh, you hunt, like behemoths or you're like elder dragons or bahamut you know you're you're facing off of papa papa bahamut it's been a while though actually just thought about it Uh, yeah, they've been called many different things over the years. So, primals, espers, all kinds of things. No, you're not. Summons. Um, So like if we Shiva all them are are traditional summons of Final Fantasy. I don't my brain does not register them as primals primals because like my first interaction with them was Final Fantasy 6 and them being called Espers. Um So that's that's a shortcoming of me. Too much lore. Six well good news is like other than the running joke, like enemies, like Marlboros, Tonberries, Cactars, Moogles, uh, Chocobos, you know, Behemoths, you know, other than that kind of stuff, most of them are all self-contained. I will say that much. What are you smelling there, Aika? Hey, what's that smell? It smells like something's burning. Look at the horizon. The forest.
I kind of want to go back and play 11. I mean, I'm sure it's a dated MMO, but there's part of me that wants to play it. It's the loco. Burn, burn, burn. That too. When is the awesome power of my flame cannon? Think of the forest, the more it burns. Ha ha ha. When I burn down the forest, I'll be able to find the lost city of Rixus. And the moon crystal will be mine. Lord de Loco. There's a ship approaching from the aft. Last description of those air pirates. Vice is here. He's the kid that escaped from the Grand Fortress to defeat of Beliza. Perfect, perfect. It's just in time to feel the heat from my flame cannon. Wonder how Vice likes his food. Medium, or perhaps well done. I hope he doesn't die too fast. Ha 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 ha. Force, this is horrible. Quite a twisted, twisted psycho would do this. Whoever it is who'll have to deal with me. When you hit by a blast of fire, we're done for. You have to dodge the flames and counterattack. The invincible chameleon, huh? Do I have enough to do everything I want to do in one turn? Yes. Damn you, Vice. You dare even scratch my precious chameleon. You'll pay for the insolence. Lord DeLoco, we must repair the damaged ship as soon as... Silence! There may be damage, but perfect machine will never break down. Just you watch. I'll make sure to give you a taste of each and every one of my cannons.
this shit. Nice mitigation by me. Hi for the main event. Better watch out, Vice. You don't get close to get you'll get burnt. to have 15 spare points at the beginning of the turn. That's fucked up. But I get it. Characters generate a certain amount of action points a turn. Um, you can then add action points a turn by focusing, and then different actions, all the all your actions, uh, especially in ship to ship combat, uh, take action points to do. Normally, it's just magic and special abilities in like ground combat, but in ship to ship, it is all. Um, all action, all SP points. Got you, dog. Oh, God. And that's why we did evasive action. Hey, like that, Vice? That's what you get for scratching my ship. Damn, I didn't think that flying piece of junk could do that much damage. Listen, boy, focus our cannon fire on the turn right before he attacks. So knock him off balance. Ship is relatively small. We can knock him off balance. Might be able, not be able to use that cannon. So like here, uh, if I play my cards right, I could get the Harpoon Cannon twice uh, next turn. Uh, so what I want to do here is kind of conserve what I'm doing. Um, I might have Vice Attack just to do some kind of damage. Um... Make sure our our hole's good. Gotcha, thanks, no, no problem. It is a kind of a confusing system.
<laughs> oh, my torpedo missed. Rip. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Skies is so good, a joy, sir. This isn't my first time playing. I played it, last time I played it was about a decade ago though. Uh, but welcome on in. It's good to see you. Universe. It is one of my, my top RPGs of all time. Because everything in this game works. And it's rare for an RPG to do that. But welcome on in, it's good to see you. Do it. Nice. Ooh, be tight. What? What? Impossible. My, my flame cannon. How? It can't be. It can't be. It can't be! There's no way I can defeat me! It's supposed to be a dream, a dream, I tell you! Sir, sir, get a hold of yourself! We must retreat! Head back to Moonstone Mountain! Let's be real, though. Any ship that would take that harpoon cannon through itself wouldn't, be exi wouldn't exist anymore. All right, we got him on the run. 
They're probably searching for the moon crystal too. We gotta hurry. You're the people that have come from the eastern skies. High priest informed me of your arrival. He also told me that you drove out the fire-breathing ship that was destroying our land. I thank you on behalf of my people, the forests and Quaita. <laughs> it was nothing, really. We were just doing what we thought was the right thing to do. I was driven from my land and forced to live in this hut. I am sorry, but I am not able to in the position to compensate you for your bravery. However, I would do anything that is within my power as king to reward you. Is there anything I can do for you? Actually, your majesty, we did have something to ask of you. We are looking for the green moon crystal. The green moon crystal? Perhaps you speak of the legendary sacred green stone. The men from Valoa came looking for the same thing. I do not know where it is. However, the stone did exist. It would probably be located in Lost City of Rixus. Lost City? Rixus? I believe that was the name of the capital of the Ixitaka of the Old World. You are correct. It is said that the buildings, even the streets, were made of pure gold. Gold? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's find Rixus right now! Calm down, Ika. You're embarrassing me. So, do you know where Rexus is located? I am afraid not. It's been hidden for generations. Our people call it the City of Mists. It may not exist anymore. One of my high priests knows a great deal about the old world. His name is Asafa. Anyone who would know it would be him. I see. But for, would it be alright for us to meet Asafa? Hmm. Asafa is not here. The Valowids took him to Sacred Mountain. In the mountain is a mine that contains what you call Moonstones. Did the Valowids kidnap one of your high priests and he's being held prisoner in Moonstone Mountain? Vice? What should we do? We're break into the Moonstone Mines. We could try to save Asapa. Hmm. Hmm. Appears to be our only option. Break into a Valowid stronghold isn't going to be easy. You're willing to risk your lives to save Asapa? Our sacred mountain is south of the Horteca village. Be careful. Leave it to us. Onward to Moonstone Mountain. Champ one. God, I love this game. Vice, you're shameful. Counterattack. Yes. Rude.
Man, a land where the fruit has learned to attack. I probably should. The problem having six elements. They're all faster. No, that's this place. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with that then? Hold on. We're doing some investigating. Or did I get turned around? I think I got turned around. But in turning around, I found the way. Rip. That's your down. Oh. Why do I even have this Counter Strike fucking accessory if Vice isn't going to use it?
dodge that. That's why I like I, going back to Crowded Trigger. You have the counterattack band that basically makes your counterattack 80%. So you would think in a game that already has built in counterattacks, uh, that sometimes that just a, uh, ooh, black map. What's that do? Um. You would, you would think it would make, uh. Oh, leads creatures to the holder and improves chance of first strike. Like I, I base everything off Chrono Trigger and it's, it's my own fault. I know better. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh no. Well, Deloco, I've heard the air pirates have crossed the South Ocean. They're on their way here. Yes, I ran into the north of Horteca. They um, nearly escaped my flame cannon. <laughs> yes, well, fighting air pirates is a bit more difficult than burning down trees. I guess you already know that. Vice was responsible for my demotion. I'll make sure he suffers and I will prove the world that I am Valois' greatest admiral. Soon, Galcian will be taking orders from me. I simply don't understand why someone as noble as myself is forced to take orders from anyone other than Empress Theodora herself. Well, DeLoco, I must be going. I have to exterminate some pests. Idiot, perhaps you should have shared, stared into a mirror a bit longer this morning. I think you have a hair out of place. As for you, Vice, you damaged my precious chameleon. You will pay for that. Oh, yes. You will pay. The next time we meet will be the last. Someone just set off the alarm. I wonder who it could be. Ah, Vice. How nice of you to drop by. You saved me the trouble of finding you. Yes, I know that you are searching for the moon crystals as well. You must be trying to rescue a Sapa. Good, good. <laughs> you see, Vice, these mines are full of traps. Too bad for you. You can't escape, Vice. You will never leave these mines alive. Sockery Blue. As it just closed itself. I don't know about you guys, but I've got a bad feeling about this place. Oh, we'll just do what we always do. Quit your belly aching. <clears throat> Freeze a voice. Oh. The other day I learned something. And my brain has not financially recovered from it. Uh, the voice actor for Goku is the same voice actor who did Rolf in 
Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And my brain broke. And I, I, I will never recover from it. Because I occasionally get like Instagram reels that have voice actors in it because I that's an interest of mine. And And he was at a con and he did the raw voice followed by Goku voice and my brain was just like Peter Kalamas, who was a voice of Goku too, I believe. Looks like he did the DBZ movie. Trying to look for more evidence. Hold on. As a voice actor, he replaced Ian James Corlett as the voice of Goku during 97 Funimation Saban's short-lived original dub of DBZ. He also voiced Goku in Funimation and Pioneer's 97-98 dub of Dra the Dragon Ball Z movie, Dead Zone, World's Strongest, and Tree of Might. Yeah, Ocean dub Goku. Yeah. Sorry. I was concentrated on finding it, and you knew it.
Oh, that's disturbing. Watching him, another dude that's really wild to like see in interviews is Jim Cummings because of how he could switch his voices on a, on a like an instant and he does so much. Oh, there's a Valentine. Hi, Valentine. Nope, but he switched like in the, the little Instagram clip. Um. He, he flipped between the two and it just blew my mind. Man, watching people who are good at Street Fighter, just, it, it like, it, it makes me just cry a little on the inside that I'll never be that good. Cause I love me some Street Fighter. I adore me some Street Fighter. But watching good players be good at Street Fighter, I never want to play Street Fighter again. I'm 
Finally. Still Kupiko. Rip that guy. We did it. <laughs> Look, I know where y'all are. That's fine. I'm just making a comment, Valentine. I love you. God dang. I'll just say, if there's one topic Valentine will pop out of the shadows for, it's definitely voice actor work.
I didn't know that did a line. I thought that was just single target. same gotta know where that voice comes from Just takes me below. That's Dio. <gasps> that was easy. Worth my while? Yes. Uh, don't look like you're a Valoin. Who might you be? I have Vice and you're a Sapa? No, appears you have mistaken me for someone else. My name is Sentine. Oh, then you're Han's father. You know Hans? You must have been a village of Horteca. Where my wife and children are. Everyone was okay, right? Yeah, they were doing just fine. Don't you worry about yourself right now. Oh, I'm okay. Refused to help Vala when they threw me in these dungeons. I've been here for quite a while. You were looking for someone named Sapa, correct? So, then you'll need to venture further into these mines. I think I could help. Elevators scattered throughout the mines. They will need use to reach da 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 get them working. It was I, Dio! Yay! Wow, said time, you're amazing. Why, thank you. Must advise you proceed with caution. There are all sorts of traps. I will travel ahead and see if I can disarm them for you. Thank you, you've been a great help to us already. This is the least I can do for you. You rescue me, remember? Be sure we'll meet again. Good luck. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. I like playing these classic RPGs and stuff and see folks come out for them and be interested is really fucking cool. And as always, I'm going to probably get I'm going to definitely put this whole series on YouTube as a as a VOD dump. Um, so if you've missed any of this, um, what are these seeds that I keep getting? Um, um, That's the best feeling, isn't it? Just having a place to vibe and chill out. Especially with all the, the chaos that we have in our day-to-day -day lives. for existing wow I appreciate that I like existing gets a level and we rank ooh there be somebody on the bridge but who oh you guys curious to see what that looks like was all wasted on that one poor guy because this took Va Vice a long time to cast. In the hands of a better caster, that probably would have done really well. So I 
Also, I like the Black Mage Quest line has a uh, reference to Final Fantasy XI in it. <laughs> good, good. Soon, Vice, very soon. You shall die. And when you die, I want you to die slowly. Yeah, slowly. Really slowly. I want your brains to gush out of your head. Pardon me, DeLoco. I didn't mean to interrupt one of your intellectual monologues. I came to tell you that Vice has broken into the mines. And you figured this out all by yourself? What gave it away? Was it the alarm? Maybe it was the sirens. <laughs> yes, well, the fact is he's foolish enough to deliver himself to me. I shall go dispose of him. You're a fool, Afonso. <laughs> the only reason that you made Admiral was because your family. You don't stand a chance to get vice. I shall kill him. I want him to die. Die, die, die. Soon, very soon. <laughs> Up top, you lovable psychopath. Man, you boys don't get paid enough for this. It was easy, Vice. Everybody out. issue I have with with black mage is a job and it goes for any of the caster jobs is that especially in later expansions primarily Endwalker and what I've seen of Dawn Trail you're always on the move and it's very hard to get in stuck in on a rotation and do what you need to do to do proper DPS and it's annoying And who might you be? Are you the High Priest of Sapa? The one and only, I am Sapa. We're on a mission from King Ixataka. We're here to rescue you. <laughs> well, the king knows what I like. Sending two beautiful women to come save me. I have no use for you men. Now, if you just leave us alone for a while. Oh, really? There's no way this dirty old man is a high priest. Aren't you a pretty one? In all my years, I've never seen anyone like you. I believe that you are a Sylvite, am I right? <gasps> what? How did you know? 
<laughs> instinct, my dear, instinct. I am very observant, especially around women. Uh, I could probably guess that goofy girl's measurements. <laughs> okay, that does it. I know we have to bring him back. Ting didn't say anything about bringing him back conscious. Relax, Aika. Right now, we just have to worry about getting out of here alive. Let's go. So, you rescued Isapa. Very nice. <laughs> but soon, you will die. You will die a horrible death, and you will scream until I laugh. Until I laugh. I've prepared my favorite room just for you. Please come and stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Lecherous old man in the 90s. Never. I don't get it. Why would the Valowoods build such a huge room in these mines and not use it for anything? Oh, it has a use, Ika. I don't plan on sticking around long enough to find out. <laughs> so you've made it this far. I am impressed, but now you shall die. You'll pay for what you did to my precious chameleon. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> All the slaves who tried to run have died in this room. Vice, I want you to hear you scream. Now I shall have my revenge. Let's start the show, shall we? Huh? Now what? <gasps> my favorite part is this room has a window. Yeah. Long no time no long time no see, Vice. It is I, Alfonso. I came here to watch you die. What are you doing, Alfonso, you fool? If you're in there, I won't be able to crush them. Someone of my stature doesn't deal with filth like yourselves personally. Antonio, them. too, finish them. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, that's annoying. That doesn't count for a counter strike. Carefully. I mean, I don't remember this guy having too much crazy going on. This should be a pretty straightforward fight. Rock and stone! Never need to apologize for rock and stone. Rock and stone, brother. I may have just looked like looked up the type chart for this game and it makes no sense. So yeah. Move, sure it does. Everything you need to KO all the sent the enemy.
And dead. What are you doing? Not this way! Ah Serves you right, Alfonso. You get what you deserved. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to skewer all of you. What, what, what? What's going on? My traps have never failed me before. Crush them, crush them, crush them! Adamo de Loco. Someone has tampered with all the machines in the mines. They're all malfunctioning. What? Why, why, why? How can this be? I don't understand. Vice, why won't you just die? <laughs> Sir, step out of it. Please get a hold of yourself. <sighs> Poor bastard. All right, we're going to get out of the mines and then we'll call it a night. Hello. We made it out of the mines unharmed, I see. We made a few adjustments with some of the machinery in the mines. Did it help? So that's what that was. Yes, yes, well, let's be on our way. Ah, yes, I managed to open the door to the outside as well. Must hurry back to see my family. They must be terribly worried about me. You really know your stuff. <laughs> and he cares so much about his family as well. You're a good man, said time. Glad we could help you. Thank you very much. Well, I must get going. Stop by and see me at Hortenka when you get a chance. Pretty good, pretty good pace for 11 and a half hours in.